about going through descriptives is also is that we cannot we cannot group we cannot I suppose we cannot break salary down by factor okay uh, by groups uh, so that's a bit of a problem so it looks at the whole salary variable it looks at all 1875 employees okay in total and generates a distribution for those yeah well it generates a descriptive statistics we might be interested in looking at the male descriptive statistics and also the female descriptive statistics but this particular function that we've used here doesn't allow us to to to, to break our dependent variable into groups okay but let's just have a look at the descriptives that we have here i mean some of them are quite obvious and uh, we have n represents so here's the salary variable n represents the number of observations okay and uh, there was 1875 observations so with respect to this particular sample the sample size is 1,875. There was 1,875 employees. The minimum statistic here is the minimum of the salaries okay, is 18,149. So what we know is this, is that of the 1,875 employees, okay, the, the, the person that had the smallest salary okay, was being paid 18,149 euros. Okay? Whereas the person that has the largest salary is being paid 97,413 euros. Now, when you compare them two things, which is going to be important from a report perspective, yeah, is state the actual state what you see. Okay, we see that the minimum is circa eighteen thousand, the maximum is circa ninety-seven thousand. Okay, and when you think about it here, now let's make a little bit of a comparison across here. The person that's on the maximum salary, approximately, is earning five times what the person on the minimum salary is earning yeah and that's a particular observation and that's why we should we should probably try to write that up in our report when we're presenting this yeah because it is a real observation the maximum person is on 97,000 the minimum person is on 18,000 18,000 is approximately 20,000 20,000 times 5 gives us 100,000 which is around 97,000 so the person that's earning the maximum salary is earning five times more than the person on the minimum salary now I wonder from a let's say from a report perspective you've my students when they're generating they've got this data set to, to generate this technical report or this particular report a summary of the particular data but they've to they've to place it within the literature and within context yeah uh, so I mean one of the questions that they might be asking themselves here is okay with respect to this particular industry okay, where this these employees have been selected from is there evidence in the literature to suggest that people that are on the, the maximum salary within them organizations are being paid five times more than what the minimum person is on, okay? if that makes sense. Yeah? So that's just one thing that you could ask that question. So does this agree with what the literature is saying with respect to the wage distribution for this particular type of industry? Okay? But more importantly, let's move on to the mean, which is the average. Yeah, the average salary for this particular organisation, okay, for the one thousand eight hundred seventy-five employees is twenty-eight thousand. Okay, so on average, people are being paid twenty-eight thousand euros. Okay, now the average is a very good measure of centre. Okay, but it is only a good measure of centre when the distribution is symmetrical. Now we can see even from this particular graph up here that this distribution is not symmetrical. Yeah, it's positively skewed. Something that we also know from a numerical perspective, you can see the skewness statistic here is 1.22. It's positive. So that would indicate that there is positive skew. This actually agrees with what we've actually visually seen here from a histogram perspective. So actually, a numerical statistic, if I see 1.22, I know that the distribution is positively skewed without actually having seen the histogram. But we will have generated both things, and I have generated both things here. So you can actually see that this statistic here, this skewness statistic of 1.22, agrees with what we're actually visually seeing within the histogram. And it'd be important to actually note that within your report, right? Okay? Because that's what I'm trying to trying to try to grade for, and that's what most people are trying to do when it comes to a statistical perspective, is to try to relate different measures with other measures. In this case, this numerical measure, I'm trying to relate back to the graphical, the graphical representation. But let's just keep in mind that the mean value as a statistic is influenced by outliers. So it is influenced by extremely large values with that are large with respect to the rest of the data set. And it also is influenced by extremely small values. Small values uh, with respect that are extremely small with respect to the data set. And what we have here is positively skewed. So actually, if anything, this mean value here isn't really 
we can't rely upon it. It's not representative. It's not a representative measure of center for this particular distribution because it's positively skewed. A more appropriate statistic to rely upon would be the median value, which we'll generate in a moment. We have to go through a different procedure to generate the median value. But with that said, what we now know now is this, is that the average value, yeah, the average is 38,000. So look, that's approximately, that's approximately uh, 40,000. I'm just rounding here to try to get across a particular type of relationship. So now, now maybe what we should do is maybe we should compare the minimum salary to the average salary. And you can actually see that the, the average salary, okay, the average salary seems to be twice the amount of the minimum salary. So the minimum salary seems to be seems to be if, if I take the minimum salary multiply by two, it gives me around twenty six thousand. Yeah, so which is in around twenty eight thousand. If anything, the mean is slightly more than two times at the minimum salary, or the person that's in this organisation that's on the least amount of pay is earning. Is, is, is earning only half of what the average salary is. And I think that's an important observation, and maybe you should, you should talk about that, okay? But now when we look at the maximum salary, we can actually see that the maximum salary now, when we compare the maximum salary to the average salary, the maximum salary is, I suppose, that's about four, the maximum salary is just over two times the average salary, okay? Whereas a moment ago when we said, when we compared the maximum to the min, the maximum was five times the minimum salary. But now the maximum is only twice the average salary. Uh, let's just keep in mind as well that the average is influenced by this maximum value. Okay, so the person at the maximum has got a tendency to pull the mean towards them. Okay, so that's important. Uh, the standard deviation is an important measure of dispersion. Okay, it tells us on average how far people are from a salary perspective away from the average.